In today's video, we're going to be upgrading a Cisco switch. Now, if you're working as a network engineer, being able to upgrade Cisco switches is part and parcel of your day-to-day -day tasks. So you need to be able to be comfortable to upgrade switches without any issues. If you're starting your career, then yes, it might be very uncomfortable to upgrade switches. And there's a reason because, you know, one mistake, you can actually take down an entire network. And at the same time, if you don't know how to upgrade Cisco switches and, you know, Cisco routers, then you might not last in your job. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the steps that I take when I'm upgrading Cisco switches. In the last two years, I was involved in a project where I upgraded over 500 devices with very short outage windows uh, in a production network. And... I was able to do it successfully without causing any major outages. So in this video, I'm sharing the steps that I used to successfully upgrade 500 devices. And it doesn't matter whether you've upgraded the switch before, if you're to follow these steps, you too should be able to do it without any issues. Now, there are two modes of upgrading Cisco switches. There is the install mode, which is the latest from Cisco. Um, it is the most recommended. You find it on iOS XE, uh, which is the later version of the operating system that you found that you find on Cisco switches. And then you got the old bundle mode, which is the way that we've been upgrading switches before. I think many of us know it as just pointing to the bin file and then letting the switch, you know, load. According to Cisco, this is the monolithic version. They are trying to shift away from it because it consumes more resources. So in this video, we're going to upgrade both so that you're able to learn because it, you, you never know which of the two you're going to encounter in production. So without taking too much of a time, let us begin. Switch that we are upgrading. We are upgrading a switch, Cisco switch. This is a 3850. It's a 48 port switch. And then on top of the switch, I have my console cable that I'm gonna use for configuring. And I've got my USB, which I'm going to use for copying the image from my laptop to the switch. We say that we're going to verify what is the version that our switch is running. And the command that we're gonna use is show version. And in our case, we are running version 16.12.3. We're running version 16.12.3. The second step is we need to verify if we have enough space on our switch to be able to copy our image. And the command that we're gonna use is dir flash. And it tells us that we've got quite a, quite a number of bytes that are free, but I'm not confident that that is sufficient enough so we're going to go through the process of deleting one of the bin files so that we can be able to learn how to do it. So we want to delete this image. We're going to copy it again. So the command is delete and we're going into the flash drive and then we're going to copy the name of the bin file that we want to delete and then we are going to paste. Uh, sorry, probably didn't copy the right. All right, I'm just gonna do it one more time. So we're gonna copy that. And then we're gonna come here and paste. And then press enter. Now this step, you have to be very careful because if you delete the existing running image, you might have issues trying to recover on your switch. So we're gonna press enter. The switch is gonna ask us, do we really want to delete the file? Press enter and then the file is deleted. Now, earlier on when we looked, our free space was 594. Uh, we're gonna run the same command again, uh, dir flash, and we're going to see if we have freed up enough space. So now we're probably sitting on one gig of free memory because we deleted the other image, and now we're only running one particular image on our switch. So we've completed the first two steps of our switch upgrade process. Now we are going to go to the Cisco website where we are going to download the correct image. 
Okay, so we come to www.cisco.com and if you've got an account, this is where you log in to be able to then download, but you can still go to Cisco support. And in support, we are going to go to switches. And in the switches section, we are going to choose the model of the switch that we want to upgrade. And in our case, this is a 3850. And then we are going to then scroll down. There's a lot of information. We're going to go to downloads because you want to download software. And then we're going to go to the version of our switch. And in our case, it's a 48 port switch. I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to scroll down to the iOS XE software. Remember, we said that our switch was running 16, 12, 13. And we want to download 69.8. So we're going to go to download options. And in the download options, we are then going to get the bin file that we need to download in order to upgrade our switch. Now, if you hover your mouse over this information, you're going to get detailed information about the image that you, but what is important is this checksum. So this value is a value that you can copy. And then when you're finished running, copy the image to your switch, you can run a hash and then compare the two. It basically verifies that your image was not compromised. So I'm just going to hover that and I'm going to copy. I just want to make sure that our hash matches so that when we run that, we are able to verify. Okay, so this is the Cisco bit. So back to our switch, I am going to plug in my USB drive. Uh, just give me a minute. Just going to give this a bit of time. Okay, so there we go. So I've already copied my image to my USB drive and I'm going to do DIR USB flash and I'm going to press enter and there is my 16.0.08 image and we need to copy our image to the actual switch because it's still sitting on the USB drive. We said there are two methods of doing that. The first method is the TFTP method. So if you've got a TFTP server that is running on your network, the command that you would type is copy TFTP. So you're copying from the TFTP to your flash and then you press enter. Then it's gonna ask you the IP address of your TFTP server. And let's say your IP is 192.168.1.10. And then it's gonna ask you for the image that you want to copy. So in this case, let's say we are taking this image and we want to copy that. So that will be the source name and then press enter. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to use the same name as your destination file name? And in our case, we're going to press enter. And because we don't have a TFTP server, it failed. But if there was a TFTP server, it will start the copying process. But in our case, we say that we're going to copy from the USB onto our switch. So the command that you're going to use is copy USB uh, and then the name of the file. And then we're going to copy that into flash and then it's asking us, do you want to use the same name as the destination? Press enter. And now it is going to go through the copying process. Now this process takes about, you know, one minute, one minute, 30 seconds. So I'm probably going to pause this video and then we're going to come back to it when it has completed downloading. Okay, so our switch has completed copying the file and it took about one minute, 30 seconds. And just please keep these timers in mind because when you're upgrading a switch, you sometimes panic because you think things are going wrong. So being able to know how long it takes is going to be important to help calm yourself down. So now we're going to verify that our image has been copied. So we're going to do DR flash. And for sure, we should have two images. So you've got our 16.0.1698 bin file. So the next step that we're going to do is to now verify the hash. Of the file and the command that you're going to type is verify md5 verify question mark md5 and then we are going to verify an image that is sitting in the flash and we're going to copy our bin file and we're going to paste then we're going to press enter so this process is going to run a hash through 
the file to be able to generate the hash value. Then you can compare your hash value on your screen to the one that you basically downloaded. So earlier on, we copied this hash file and you can see that it's AD5412 and it finishes with BED1. So that basically verifies that our image was not compromised. What we copied from the Cisco site is what has been copied on to the switch. So now let us go to the, what step is that? That's step number configuring our switch with the new image. And we say that we're gonna use the boot mode where we point the bin file. And the first command that I usually run is show boot system. I want to know what image is currently being booted by the switch. And in this case, it is loading version 16, 12, 13. So you go conf t, which is the configuration mode, and then you type no boot system. So we need to remove the existing boot string. Then we need to configure the switch with the new boot string. So the command is boot system flash. Let me just copy the bin file just to make sure that I get. Uh, okay, let me see. Hopefully I still have the copy. Let's see if I still have the copy. Okay, cool. 69, right. Press enter. So now we have changed the boot string into our new boot string, but this is not going to appear on the switch until we save the config. So I'm going to type exit to come out of the configuration mode. Then I'm going to type write to save the config. Now that the configuration has been saved, we are going to verify once again, one more time, what is the boot system parameter. And now we can see that our switch on the next reload is going to be booting um, 16.9.8 before it was 16.12.13. At this point, we can safely reload our switch and then wait to see what happens when it comes back online. So the command to reload is reload and then press enter. Then our switch is going to ask us, do we want to reload the switch? Yes. Then it's going to go through the reload process. So once again, I'm going to pause this video. Uh, this is another critical stage. This is when the, sys this, the switch is going through the microcode phase. So it's kind of like programming the switch with the new code of the image that you've upgraded to. This is the part that takes a bit of time. So sometimes it takes about 10 minutes, depending on the speed of the switch. Okay, so our switch has completed uh, the microcode process and now it is rebooting and by the time it comes back, it should come back with the new image. I'm sure you can hear it in the background, uh, making a bit of noise. Okay, our switch has come back online. Uh, remember when we left it, it was running uh, version 9.12 and we upgraded it to version 9.8, I think. So let's double check, show version. And our switch is now running 16.9.8. So we have upgraded our switch. So this is how you upgrade a switch from one version to another. Follow these steps and you are going to get it right. Part of the video, we are installing the, in, we are configuring the install mode. So we are upgrading our switch using the install mode. And I mentioned earlier on that the install mode is the recommended version by Cisco. It is when Cisco decompresses the bin file and it creates what is known as a packages.conf uh, file and it uses that to be able to boot. It is recommended because it's faster and it's much more lighter. So, so we're going to start by going into our config mode and we are going to boot our system into flash and then packages.conf. This is the file that the switch is going to use and then we're going to exit and then save our config. And then after we have saved our config, now we are going to type install, add file, flash, and then we're gonna copy the name of our bin file. Uh, let me just make sure that I've copied that, okay. Copy that and then paste. 
and then we are going to activate and commit and then press enter so it's going to go through the process of decompressing the file then it's going to ask us if we want to uh, proceed and then it will go through and along the lines i'll come through All right so press yes and then now it's starting the decompression process where it is copying the image to the switch and then also if you are running a stack it will then push the image to all the switches that are in the stack so it has finished the uncompressing now it is activating the package on the switch so you can see the package files that have been created so it has activated the package files and then it's going to delete the bin file okay so our switch has completely reloaded so now we're going to verify what version it's running and you're going to type show version and it is running version 1612.13 how do you verify that it's running install mode we are going to show boot system and we can see that it's booting from the packages.conf file remember we said that in bundle mode it's booting to the bin file and when we go into our flash we should not see the bin file for 17 sort of for 16 12 13 so i'm gonna uh, do dir flash and then i'm just gonna pipe dot so actually let me just yeah i'm gonna press enter and you can see that now we've got 16 12 13 as package files and we only have the 698 as the bin file so now it is using the install mode i know bit of a long video but at the end of the day if you follow these steps you should be able to upgrade your switches in your production environment without any issues there you have it that's how we can upgrade our switch both in bundle mode and install mode so once again thank you for watching and i will see you